Part of the Slayer designs looking good underneath her feet. And this was just a 2.0 to back it up real quick. Incomplete there on the second. We're at the U Vans U.S. Open of Surfing, and we've got two semifinalists looking for a chance to match up with Macy Callahan. Betty Lou Sakura Johnson getting out to a quick start. A couple snaps in the backhand goes incomplete on that opening maneuver, that second maneuver. And she is in the water against Alexandra Head, local from the Sunshine Coast of Australia in Sophie McCulloch. Take a look at the replay from Betty Lou. Yeah, so Sakura got a 4.17 on this one. I really love the takeoff. Nice and patient. Slid the tail. Almost even lost control a little bit. But it added to the kind of flavor and variation that we've seen so far this week from her. And a beautiful fin. But luckily for her, you know, she's still in the game right now with 21 minutes to go. Under priority, Sophie caught behind the section. No scoring potential once it hits the, that flat zone. Good right here. Or left. She's taking a look at the left. Didn't even really glance at that right. Nice and vertical for that first snap for Betty Lou. Now cutting it back for that reform. Taking to the traditional Huntington hop to make it through the section. And now she's going to have some speed. Again, wanting to go on that backhand attack. Two-turn combo whip to finish. And the crowd goes wild. Great response. So the big turn on the backhand on the outside. From our perspective, it seemed like the right was kind of going to bowl up. But it might have gone flat. Yep, it did exactly that. So strong first turn. Got just slightly hung up coming out of it, but recovered well here with the inside Shory, getting the two for one little setup and more of a place turn right at the end. She didn't really fully bottom turn. So many people on the pier taking a look at the conditions, maybe wishing that they could be out there with just two people in the lineup getting a few fun waves. Betty Lou with a quick kick in and out, just sussing out the lineup now that she's sitting under priority. Right now, that consistency seems to be in favor of the two women in the lineup as they just keep trading off waves. What a great wow. two-turn combo from Betty Lou. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. Top turn to bottom turn, finds the reform now. This could be a massive score. It's already going to be great, but let's see how great it can be. Finishing off to the inside. But to me, that was the most crucial mistake so far. She let Sakura have this wave. And an excellent combo on the outside. I mean, beautiful variation. The one down carve, the big turn, busting the fins outside. And how about this two for one at the end, too? And Sophie McCulloch got busy out the back. She's now with the answer on the inside with a great bowl standing up in front of her. Snap, but digs the rail and can't ride out complete. Ends up going left. So a decent first turn on the outside. Carves it back, so a cool combo. And then here, a big mistake on her behalf. Maybe went a bit too big. And looking at the replay here, speeding down the line, made it up into the lip with a great snap right there. And just more of a check turn the second one. The, the second section really didn't stand up the way she wanted to. And a bit of a mistake right there at the end. I think she didn't meet the section with enough speed. It'll be a first for either of them to be advancing into that final round. As we take a look at what Sophie got up to during the break. Yeah, so a good start on the outside. Big bottom turn into a good re-entry. Waited patiently here for this thing to stand up on the inside. Gets a little combo right here too. So not a bad wave right there for Sophie McCulloch. Don't think it's going to be an 818, but if it betters the 733, she's going to make the requirement lesser. Lack of excellent heats that she had on the challenger, on the CT, excuse me. She's making up for it on the challenger series right now. Sophie worked with some work to do. She'll fall out of that first turn. She's been traveling alongside of a younger Australian in Holly Williams. It's been the first time that Holly's qualified for the challenger series. You know, it's funny to see them go in back-to-back -back heats competing out here, especially getting that Hawaiian connection. Ooh, look at this wave, Shannon. On her forehand, drawn out, opening turn, links it for the second, hits that section, looking comfortable. And a great decision to take off on this ride. It does leave Sophie out the back with priority now. Two minutes on the clock and a nice section standing up in front of Betty Lou. Snap and goes for the finish oh. on a hard section. She put so much power into that. So not the right amount of speed. An excellent use of priority right here from Betty Lou. Great carve, really opens up those shoulders, kind of drifts the fins, lays back even a little bit on the second one. And how about the way she's made the inside shore break connection too? 
all week long. A couple of decent carves right there. The finish was strong, but unfortunately didn't completely ride out of it. But didn't seem like she was able to do enough right there. That section coming down on her real quick. Her best result there being a semi-final at Sunset, which was huge for her career. And now looking to get back into that winning seat. Sophie McCulloch with a great snap on that opening section. Positions herself back into that reform. Looking really smooth, looking really stylish. I've been proud of her performance throughout this entire event. I think she's one that deserves to be on the championship tour. And she puts on a solid finish as well. But it's going to be those points from the finalists that are really going to get them into the running over the next few events. Maintaining herself within the top ten, too, probably going to move up into the top five. But the favorite going into the final now is definitely Betty Lou Sakura Johnson. Macy Callahan, Betty Lou Sakura Johnson will be the women's final.